Hey, welcome back to the channel. Ashley here. We got Avery and Aubrey down there playing in the circle, riding their bikes, getting a little exercise on this glorious, wonderful spring Oklahoma day. Hardly any wind, which is unheard of around here. So we got a little project today. I was up in the attic uh, doing some cleaning out in the attic and I found these just sitting up there doing nothing. Um, so we're going to turn these into a producer. We're going to do a little decorating on these and make these into some planters. So follow along. All right, as you can see, these are just some old tin galvanized planters. Found them up in the attic, just sitting up. Been there for years. I'm pretty sure they probably were holding uh, some adult beverages back in my younger days. But as you can kind of see, you know, there's no drain holes in there. So we'll punch a couple holes in there for, for some drainage. Um, looks like they're about a, a foot deep, almost by 16 inches long. So we'll punch a couple holes in here. So it is fairly thin, so I used, used a 3 16th drill bit uh, on this. Probably much anything much bigger will probably just grip it and rip it out a little bit. So I'll go ahead and drill the other one. All right, so I got this drilled up. As you can see, got the holes in here, did five holes. Um, it did push them up a little bit, so I just took my hammer here and beat them down just a little bit. Uh, such as thin material, I just kind of drilling it, putting the pressure kind of domed it up a little bit, coned it up, I guess you might say, on, on the inside. So I really want the dome to kind of go down. So I just kind of hammered it down a little bit with the, uh, the hammer. That way um, you can see the sharp edges. Uh, I'm not really too concerned about that. My hands aren't gonna be down there anyways. The kids aren't gonna be doing anything with that. So I'll just kind of beat those down a little bit with the hammer. That way the water can find a little, a little easier to go out, kind of like a little funnel. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our little scotch pad. We just kind of want to, scuff the surface up a little bit and that'd be great don't need sandpaper or anything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and scuff these up and then we'll go ahead and start putting the first co coat of uh, paint on there i do have a little bit of primer we'll see how far that goes um like i said this is just a home project it's not like i'm trying to sell this it's just a fun little thing for the kids one will be avery's and one will be aubrey's they can grow whatever they want in there All right, as you can kind of see, maybe you can, I'm not sure if you can, but there's some soilies uh, in there. You don't need anything super aggressive uh, with this, just enough so uh, the paint can get a little bite on the metal a little bit. It will flex a little bit over time. Uh, like I said though, this is you know just a home project for Avery and Aubrey that I'm doing for them. Uh, and they can grow whatever they want, so it's not like this is gonna be perfect. You, uh, all right. So I got them all scuffed up. We're getting ready to do some primer. Like I said, I just got a little bit of primer. I'm just gonna use that up. I didn't feel like just making a huge expense out of this project. Um, so this is all kind of paint that we've uh, just have laying around the house. Um, so we'll use what we got. You got different, tons of options right there. So I'm not too worried about that. But like I said, I'm just gonna prime this up with white primer, take it as far as I can, and then let that dry for a little while. Then we'll start with some base coats. Hey girls. Hi. Say hi. 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 Can I see it? Yeah. Wow, I can really see it. No, well, this is just, oh, I'm running. Uh, a little distracted, but it's okay. It'll be covered up by base paint. This one has base paint, yeah? Base, yeah, whatever color we choose. Mm. I think you'll probably want the purple and Aubrey will probably All want right, the blue. I'm just looking over these. I think I'm going to do this one. Yeah, that'll be your base paint. This one. This one in green. Wait, can we do two base paints? Yeah, we'll do one and then 
We'll, use, we'll stencil some stuff on there. Okay. Can we come? Can we ride your bike? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I ran the uh, the primer as far as I could. Just got the got that one on. You know, it's okay. It's runny a little bit, but it's windy out here. Kind of got a little windy again, uh, and just got this one side here and kind of ran out of uh, primer. But I'm good with that. Um, like I said, this is just a quick little project for Avery and Aubrey to plant some stuff um, to be producers uh, of food or, or whatever flowers if they want to plant flowers. So um, again, we'll start with the let that dry. We'll do a base paint do some stenciling and then I bought the uh, I did buy some chalkboard paint so that way we can write on there what it is all right let's we'll see if this is yeah that's pretty dry so we're going to do Aubrey's with this uh, this is a oasis blue satin right here to move the uh the station to the uh backyard um we had some neighbors come out the girls went over to start playing basketball that's kind of why i time lapsed the uh the base painting i did two coats of that as you can see comes out pretty smooth it's nice i'm not going to worry about this edge here honestly because that'll just chip off anyways over the years uh one of the first things to go to the edge and then uh we'll start doing some stenciling here so aubrey wants her stenciling done in green so we'll do green uh, but these are just some stenciling that you can get at any craft section of Walmart or Hobby Lobby or anything like that. So we'll just uh, center this as best we can. Just kind of eyeballing it. Like I said, this is just a planter. That's all we're going to do. We'll tape it down. This back side of the house is windier. So we'll just go ahead and tape it down. Out. We'll go ahead and take this up pretty good. That way, uh, we don't get the overspray. It's bad. Let's take this up a little bit. And that paper's up there just because there's other stenciling up there. I don't want to go ahead and get that on there either. so bad. Touch it there. So if it's covered up, but it won't hurt. Okay. I said it's really windy now. So hopefully we can get this to got this taped up we're going to use this stenciling here um what a nice little design i kind of like it like i said 
just eyeballing it. It's just a planter. It'll be out in the weather anyways. And when those Oklahoma storms, you know, might be in the neighbor's yard by the end of summer with the wind and the tornadoes. So just doing some repurposing of what we got. Do your eyeballing and get that down so the wind doesn't blow it away. We're going to use this, uh, what is this, candy pink. It's starting to look like uh, some Easter planters is what they're looking like. It's that time of year. Happy Easter. Go ahead. Just taking some of this up. In that corner. Turns out good. Okay. Oh, guess I didn't mix it very well. A little clumpy. that dry and we'll continue mixing this paint because that's not mixed very well. Not shaking. But we'll come back to Aubrey's here. We'll go to get it a second coat. This again it is just not consistent color at all if it doesn't turn out that's okay we'll just paint over it with the with the purple no big deal it's just a planner all right so we'll let that dry here in the wind we'll pick up this, this one here peel it off and see what we got See how it turned out. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Eh, it's not bad. It's not real bright. Let's see what we can see here. It's not bad. It's not real bright, but you know, it's okay. That's what she wanted. Alright, I'm a little bit more concerned about Avery's though, because the way the paint came out. It wasn't very consistent. So let's just start filling this off. A ah, little bleed over. Not as nice as I would have liked it, but it is windy. So and again, it's just a just a planter. Probably just could have tightened it down a little bit, but you can kind of see some overspray kind of got underneath the stenciling. And plus, you know, it wasn't coming out very consistent out of the can. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do, what I'd like to do is put like some of that chalk paint right here. I'm just gonna use an easy stencil. I'm gonna take that right there. I am going to kind of line this up. Like I said, I am not looking for perfection. That is, that is off a little bit. Again. Not liking that at all. Put that 
there. I'm wondering how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to use that envelope as a guide. That's all I'm doing. Use that envelope as a guide. I'll take that envelope up, and that's where we're going to spray paint it. If you're a perfectionist, you probably won't like that. Just take that up. Make sure our lines are good. All right, so I got this measured out. So just a second ago how I did that, and we'll just turn this up. Been shaking it blowing around. It's getting windier and windier. Make sure these lines are good. Try to cut down on the blade through. And this will take a couple coats. All right, we'll let that dry and then we're going to get Avery's uh, all laid out. Okay, so I laid out Avery's the same way I did with Aubrey's. You know, use the envelope, tape it up, make sure this is good. And we'll just do the first coat. All right, I'm gonna go get Aubrey's now. I'll do the second coat on Aubrey's. So I just finished up all the coats on this. I didn't record that because there's nothing worse than watching paint dry. So uh, let's take a look at this. I'm going to let the girls plant whatever they want in here. Is there a pot? They're a planter and they can plant whatever they want. And they can take care of it. It didn't turn out too bad. Scraped it a little bit there with my fingernail, but not really bad. You know, it's a, not totally centered and a little off a little bit, but hey, like I said, it's gonna be outside. It's gonna be weathered. So we'll uh, get Avery's turned off. All right. So this is Opry's right here. It's got the little basket weave stenciling right there. She wanted green, green and blue put the little chalk reader on there so we can see what we planted in there and they can put their names on there whatever they want to do here's Avery's got a little overspray yeah, but it's okay and then her little reader box a little chalkboard paint right there that we can write on chalk see what they want to put in there all right here's Aubrey Aubrey what do you think of your your planter I like it. I like it. so we just need to put some landscaping cloth in here and then we'll fill it up with some uh, potting soil and then we can plant something. Wait, where's the chalk? Uh, you know, we we'll use your sidewalk chalk. Okay. Yeah, we can write whatever you want on there. Do you know what you want to plant in there? I don't know. You don't know yet? Mm -mm. All right, cheers to take Maybe care carrots. of. Maybe carrots. Carrots? Yeah, we got carrots that we need to plant. Yeah, I'm gonna put carrots. You're gonna put carrots in there? All right.
Okay, thank you for watching. And this was a pretty easy project. I'm sure you probably got a couple of these little uh, types of boxes or containers laying around your house that you can make into a planner. And again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button. Have a good day. Bye.